Well, Aaron Gray and Josh Arnett are known as much for their singing hits as they are for swinging hammers. Together, they make up the hit duo, The Singing Contractors. Aaron Gray and Josh Arnett are contractors from Indiana who enjoy singing while they build. When someone posted one of their songs on YouTube, it went viral, garnering 1 million views in only 24 hours. The fans dubbed them the Singing Contractors, and the name stuck. Oh, he touched me. Their latest CD and DVD, Hard Working Man, features country classics and gospel hymns from Gaither Music Group, which is sure to touch the heart of America. All right, well, joining us now via Skype are the singing contractors, Aaron Gray and Josh Arnett. Guys, welcome back to the 700 Club. It's so good to have you with us. Hey, it's so good to be here. Thank you for having us. <laughs> of yeah. course, of course. All right, well, you were scheduled to appear on our show back in March of 2020, and then the world shut down and the pandemic hit. You guys must have lost so many singing and building opportunities when everything shut down. How did you guys manage that? Well, uh, you're, you're right. We uh, all singing engagements came to an abrupt halt. And uh, thankfully, uh, we was able to keep working just like we do every day. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we was very thankful for that. And uh, but we took that time and uh, started working on this new record. And uh, we worked really hard on it and we're excited about it. And uh, so we, we can't wait for everybody to hear it. Yes, we are excited to hear it. Well, Josh, I wanna talk to you for a moment. I understand that you were especially hit hard by the virus. What was that like for you? Well, I'm, a, I'm sure it was hard for everybody who were, were hit by it, but it was a very trying time um, physically, mentally, and spiritually because you, I was really sick and I really had to lean really heavy on the Lord and just pray every, I felt like every hour I was praying, Lord, help me, Lord, help more, help me. And I know a lot of people were going through that. And I am so glad that I had a God to call upon and ask him to, Lord, please help me through this situation. I know other people are going through it, but I'm glad that I had a heavenly father who would listen to me, who would hear my prayer. And uh, here I am today, and I'm thankful that I made it through. And just like a lot of other people, yeah. but I'm thankful that I had somebody I could call upon. Yes, and we are thankful that you are here with us and doing well. All right, well, getting back to your story, what came first, the singing or the contracting? <laughs> Definitely the contracting. I mean, <laughs> we grew up uh, just working, and that's, of course, that's still what, what we do. Yeah. But, yeah, definitely the working. Well, how did, how did you guys get into singing then? I mean, were you just, did you know that you guys could sing? Did you have a affinity for performing and singing? How did that come about? Yes, we, we knew each other would sing, and our families uh, sang in uh, revivals and camp meetings, and, and uh, both families uh our singers and we were thrown in the mix. We were forced to sing, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. But uh, through the years, we have dabbled in some singing, and and uh, we do what we do best is sing on the job, and uh, that's how you get through the day, right? You can't have a boring day, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. What was your first show like? I'm curious. What was your first show like as the singing contractors? What was that like for you guys? Well, that was very interesting. We, uh, I'll never forget it. We, we, it was at a church in Avon, Indiana. We, uh, they had a, had a good crowd there and we actually had tools on the, on the stage and we actually built a cross and assembled it and right in front of everybody. And we was trying to sing and talk and <laughs> we was nervous as can be. And I'm telling you, I told him, I said, don't let anybody see these cuts up close. Cause it was <laughs> not good. We were so nervous, but we had that. fun doing it. Yeah. That is so awesome. Well, what is it about your sound and your story uh, that you think resonates with so many people? Um, that I, I can't really give an honest answer. For sure. But I do know that we uh, are simple. Um, we sing from our hearts and we mean what we sing about. And I, we think that it's for the everyday hardworking person who can identify with that. And um, we love good country driving music and we love gospel music. And, and that's what we sing. And um, 
I guess people like it. I think they do. Yeah. I think they do. I would <clears throat> say that they do. <laughs> well, you say that some of the songs on your latest album inspired you to become the hardworking men you are today. What do you mean by that? Well, we uh, we actually do work hard every day, and uh, we try to. Some days are lighter than others, but we uh, we're we're just average people. We're average guys, just out here trying to make a living. And uh, God has allowed us to have an opportunity to share uh, music with others and make people happy, encourage people. And, uh, you know, we, we counted a privilege that he's allowed us to do this. Yeah, he's so we, 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 have two, we have two different jobs. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Count it all joy. It's all used to glorify God. Well, while working yeah. on this album, you got the chance to perform alongside Bill Gaither and Woody Wright. What was that experience like for you guys? Yeah, we we think <laughs> it's a privilege and an honor to do that because uh, growing up our whole lives, we have heard Gaither music. All right. Oh, no. I think we might have lost the singing contractors. I think that's the case. All right. Well, if you guys want to hear great music, I would highly suggest you do. Or if you want to uh, find someone to hang drywall, the singing contractors are your guys. Their latest release is a CD. It's called Hard Workin' Man, and it's available wherever yeah. music is sold.